Hey guys, I am here with the um, Stormtrooper pilot toy made by, um, it's hard to see, Lewis Galoob Toys, uh, Lucasfilm, right, uh, not that anymore, now it's Disney, but um, it's from 1997. It's a nice toy, decent, decent. Um, and we'll have a look inside and see what's in there. Cause it has a little feature. Sorry, no. Uh, sorry, I can't, I can't use both my hands. Uh, I should really get a tripod. Um, but uh, this is it, the inside. It's supposed to be, I think, the inside of a, t a TIE fighter. I don't really know. It might be the Death Star. I think it is actually. And it comes with this. Uh, the, it's like the thing that was on the Death Star basically. So it might be the Death Star, yes. Um, really nice uh, stickers here. These stickers are nice. This comes out here. I think this is the um, hanger for all the TIE fighters. Or it could just yeah, actually, you know, yeah, that, that's always what it is, basically, in the Star Wars movie. That pops out. And, uh, this either will be the place where they pop down to the garbage disposal, into the, gar the, the garbage chute, or it could be where it's... Oh, wait, no, this could be, um, a Star Destroyer. Yes, I think that's what it's supposed to be. And then... I think this abducts ships like the um, Rebel Fleet ship at the start of, of A New Hope. But um, a very nice toy. Uh, and if you're thinking, oh, why don't you sell this on eBay? It only, only goes for like 12 euro. I checked. I checked. Or I could just be an idiot and could be wrong. You never know. People are always idiots. Some people. Which is me. No, I'm just kidding. Nah, nah, no, I really am stupid. I know, but, um, a nice, decent toy. I would, from a, a 1 to 10, or 0 to 10 scale, I would go around 10. <laughs> I like it, like, it's, it's a good toy. Or display, it'd be a good display piece. I'm, a, I'm actually going to put this on my desk. I'm not at my desk right now because it wasn't. Oh, why did I use my foot the other time where I could just? Yeah, I see it's the back bit though that the toughest to get back. There we go. It's, it's it's really good, you know, just to bring it around with you if you're going somewhere on a long and and there's a locking mechanism. See, so. So, see, it's not coming out. No, it is. And then, won't, won't go back in unless we have to, like, oh. Jesus, what have I done? <laughs> but, and this little knob down here, that controls satellite dish. Or could just be a big laser cannon. And this one controls nothing, but there is this cool thing you can do. Just bounce them up and down. Yeah, really cool. Uh, yeah. I'll try and get a better view of this. But, um, yeah, it's it, it's a, a good toy just to have as a display piece, you know, for the memories of those years. <laughs> um, yeah, really good toy, and I'll rate it a 10 out of 10. Like, back in those days, it would have been like a PlayStation 4 compared to us now. Or, yeah, I'm acting like we're a, an extinct race. I am. Um, they're an extinct race, but a good decent toy, and it's quite good, you know. 
quite good. But yeah, and and, and uh, um, it even has detailing in it around the mouthpiece. Um, and and that's it, really. Nothing else, really. Not good. Fuss. But yeah, and I and I like. I forgot to mention this. I like the the imperial logo there. Oh, this is like years old, so I'm sorry. It's all dirty. Is this like 23 years old? I think it is. Hmm. That explains it. I like that. That there. You might not pick it up on the camera. You might actually. But they're a different shade, which is good detailing. And from this side, it kind of looks like Darth Vader's mask. Kinda. Kinda. But, oh yeah, that opens at the back. Which is cool. And there's a little face there. Put your finger in there and hold it. Hold it around, bring it around. Mm. Yeah. Fell over my hand. Quite good. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I will see you later.